Hey, you guys. This is my work roommate. Uh, come to you with another uh, YouTube video. Uh, go ahead and like, subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, we'll get on with this video now. Thank you. Alright, so, as many of you guys already know, Nitrix Warlord dropped a video on JK Gamers, Hummer Guy, and myself. He tried to lie and say we broke the rules first in it. However, that was not the case. His team broke the rules first, which in his response video, he admits that they broke the rules first. He does not admit that he lied and tried to tell his fan base uh, what he thought they would want to hear instead of telling the truth. Um, but I don't think he will, you know, be like, hey guys, I was just lying to you, my bad. He's just not going to do it. Um, in his response video, though, he's basically like, oh, well, yeah, Sipian hit off radar, but he wasn't trying to kill anybody. Nitrix, who are you kidding? We're having a fight, Sipian hit off radar. If he had the opportunity to, to kill anybody while he was off radar, you would have taken it. Like, that is a fact. So, instead of trying to twist the situation around and all that stuff, present it as is. Like, we all know that you tried to lie about the situation because you tried to treat it like all the other videos that you upload and tell lies in. You think, oh, my fan base is much larger than these other people, so therefore nobody's going to really watch their videos and figure out what the truth is. However, in this instance, uh, I guess you figured out that that was not the case. A lot of people are finding out that you told a lie in this video trying to make Adidas uh, and myself look bad. Like, that was your whole point in this. You got butt hurt that he commented on my video and you wanted to make him look bad. Just admit it. And Nitrix, you bring up uh, me hitting Ghost in the second lobby. By that point, you had broke the rules in the first lobby. You broke the rules in the second lobby. So at that point, it just didn't matter, right? After the first lobby... We figured, hey, you guys are going to break the rules, etc., etc. However, you don't mention that you teleported to your orbital prior to me ghosting. You don't show yourself in your facility. You show yourself coming out after you realize that I hit ghost so you could not warp me. But you left that out. I'm not surprised, but it is what it is. I'll show at the end here where you orbed my Yoik account uh, in our original fight. And that will show why I hate ghosts on this one to avoid that. Now, if you are still clueless as to why I orbitaled you, it was simple. You guys kept breaking the rules. You made an attempt to orbital cannon me at that point. And I wasn't going to let you orbital cannon me first uh, this time around like you did last time. So I know you were trying to. Now... I do know you tried to copy my presentation of the first lobby, uh, at least in the way that you responded to this. You tried to talk it out as calmly as you could at that point. Apparently you are a little bit salty though. You were swearing quite a bit, saying my name a lot. I don't know, man. I don't know what was up with that. I told you not to get salty. You know, I even tried to help you out a little bit. I told you, hey, you know, there's no point in telling lies. People are going to see through that, and it's going to make you look bad. But what did you do? Well, in your second one, you were kind of like, oh, well, I guess we did break the rules in the first one. Oops. But you still have it in your description that we were the ones breaking all the rules. When, in fact, your team was the first to do it. You don't mention the guy from Blocks was passive popping and lasers uh, in the second one, which I'm sure you will see that in Hummer's video uh, whenever he uploads it sometime tonight. So, I guess stay tuned, guys. We'll see how many lies Nitrix tells.